Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric. And welcome back to Metroid Prime Remastered, where we are morphballing through an icy tunnel, presumably to obtain the gravity suit. Presumably after a boss fight of some kind. I keep forgetting, D-pad is not my, uh, weapon switch, it's my visor switch. And... Ice to meet you, and one space pirate taken care of with no threat. The second one, eh, he's already gotten some hits, so clearly a threat, but, uh, he should be very dead. Ooh, and that was a full health, too. The the biggest of health upgrades. And clearly the door out of this area is, uh, down. I could tell that much from the mini-map, but there's also clearly stuff... up. Which I can't do without grapple beams, so down we go. Uh-oh. There's two of these guys down here, I think. Also, I completely whiffed my shot on... that one? Are you even doing your thing? He was, but not properly. It was weird. But okay. Carrying on. Nope. Not dealing with you. And... Definitely not dealing with you either. And a third one? No? Okay. And door to another stalactite based room, but at least these ones are uh, much more visible. Because, you know, I'm at ceiling height instead of being way above sea or way below, even. I know what I meant. I might actually end up getting grapple beam here instead of gravity suit. Because there's also a lot of gravity beam points around. Ow. I didn't want to be hit by the supersonic birds. They're not even enemies, they're just birds that happen to be in the way. There has to be an angle, a better angle from which to hit that one, right? No, apparently that worked. Okay. Ow. I jumped directly onto the bird that time. Who do I think I am, Mario? I can't jump on enemies' heads to beat them. Oh, it's the underwater, uh, reaper tentacles. God, I can hardly see down here. Oh, there's, uh, hmm. I don't want to go down there, but where else do I go from here? The water's too murky. Okay, I can go up the right side here. That leads me who knows where. Um... Kinda seems like I have to keep going past these things to make any kind of progress. Hmm. Oh. That's something. And that something is encased in ice. The gravity suit. Lovely. Apparently it wasn't encased in ice, I was just clipping on some rocks. Uh, 
finally. I mean, this wasn't the upgrade I was most desperate for, but it's definitely useful. I'm gonna have fun in underwater areas now. Hmm. Purple. Gravity suit acquired. Movement in liquid is no longer hindered. Nor is vision, thank god. Ooh, that feels so freeing after having to do underwater segments that whole time. Okay. Now, this door leads me... I wonder, can I ice beam the droids? They don't seem to get frozen. No. May as well just keep trying to wave beam them to death. And now I'm back out. Hello, space pirates. Gotta love that I uh, missed a couple of shots there. Honestly, just freeze and missile. I'm. I'm not in the mood to fight. I'm in the mood to explore. Hmm. Oh no, one of you guys. These things are no threat to me. And yet they became the alpha predator of the uh, waters of this planet. Okay, I don't care anymore. I'm just going. But where am I just going to? Oh! This leads to the uh, underside of here. Cool. Uh, hello space pirate. Missile. And freeze. I said freeze and missile. Give me those. And now that I have the gravity suit, I do have a question about it. Can I swim in lava? You certainly can with, uh, certain renditions of it. But whether that works for dreads... Dread? This isn't dread, this is Prime. Whether it works for Prime's gravity suit or not, I do not know. Oh! So this was the entrance to a uh, puzzle I didn't think I could enter yet. Okay, uh, lava does still hurt me. That is confirmed now. You know, just in case you were wondering anything stupid like I was. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, drain the lava before I progress through those. Stop. I did not go that far to the right, thank you game. But yeah, I don't think I can go through any of those. Yeah. Well that's good to know. Glad I wasted my health to figure that one out. Hang on. Machine is functional but not receiving power. That machine is absolutely what drops the lava level. And wouldn't you know it, the power conduits 
are all right near the doors that I'm going to be able to go under once this thing is turned on. Oh. Well, it doesn't even drain the lava, it just opens the door and freezes the things. Since I could have done this so much earlier, I wonder what I actually get for it. Can't be anything of major worth. Right? Access to East Channel Door granted, lava within chamber has been called. Oh, I had to do these in order? I thought all of them activated, but it only demonstrated one. Oh, time limit? Great. Love that for me. Anyway. Time limit easily passed. And scanning the last one. North channel door, lava within channel has been cooled. But what will all this have been for? Energy tank? Missile capacity? I don't think they'd lock a permanent upgrade behind something as easily missed as this one. Yeah, E-Tank. Of course. I'll take the health refill though. You know, considering I, uh, was playing reckless with lava. Excuse me. Pretty sure I wasn't anywhere near your mouth, but okay. Uh, where was I going? Oh yeah, uh, since I've now proven I can't swim in lava, it's time to, at the very least, swim in water. Oh wait, I was blind last time I was in this room. Oh. I need grapple beam. Okay. But, uh... What I was gonna point out was I had figured out where I needed to parkour from in order to reach the uh, ice beam door up in the corner. Um, didn't this room used to have the uh, gas enemies in it? Hmm. Well, this room has some. Anyway, I need to get back to, uh, the overworld. Hmm. Ow. Get to the overworld and explore the, uh, ruins of the crash. Okay. Now, while we're here, missile expansion right up here, and now we're actually gonna make some progress in an area that I have already basically shown, you know, I already went through this crash up side up to the point I'm going to, so... I'll see you there. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting underwater jetpack space pirates, which I did just scan, but I didn't grab their information. Aqua pirates, space pirates with exoskeletons modified for underwater use, using modified thruster packs and gravity suit technology. The space pirates have armor suits for use in liquid environments. Thermal tracking is still very useful against them, as the pirate engineers have yet to eliminate the thruster pack's high heat signature. Cool, but uh... Anyway, I bet they're still weak to ice beam. 
apart from the fact Ice Beam has a very slow rate of fire, and uh, if I miss, I'm not doing that much. Is it... Okay, I guess it died without doing a dramatic dive bomb like most of them do. Well, uh, back up we get. And back through this door. And the next. And you. Okay. I was like, is it still open? It is. Now what? Okay, just more tentacles. Switch to something with a little better rate of fire, because... Honestly... Wait, how do I... Oh. I see. There's a platform back this way. And then up. Oh, come on! Do not slip off the platform, Samus. Go away. And where to? Backwards, of course. And then, yep. What the? Oh. Uh. No information about how that one died. But he, uh, seemed to fall from above somewhere. Hmm. No power to that door. Find its power source. Yeah. Three nearby power conduits. Oh, please don't tell me they were back down the slide. Why? Why would I have been using my thermal vision through this whole thing? What a goddamn pain. Well, that should be the lowest one, and I've hit one up there somewhere. The thermal vision just isn't a nice colour palette, and I know, it could be a lot worse. I've seen some real bad thermal visions in my time, but I just... Ugh. I want to walk around with this as little as possible. And now that door's open, back to some normal vision. Okay. Now. Pew. Pew. Hang on, further left. There we go. Nice curve shot, Samus. The lock-on of your suit helped by- Hey! Wasn't expecting a second one. Hmm. This, uh, crash site... Funnily enough, I don't think it was a crash of a space pirate ship. Per se. I'm pretty sure this is, uh, the crash of, you know, that space station we blew up that was in orbit around this place. Can you open up? Can you die? Thanks. I'll take the energy. Hmm. Full. God dang it, not another one. One... It's in the back of... Okay. How many power sources does this door need? 
three from the looks of things. That's, yeah, that's a platform in my way. Oh. And the last one, that's yeah, over there. Hang on. And there we go. I really wish there wasn't so much of this. I'm not a huge fan of these thermal visor quote unquote puzzles. Ow. Hey you. Uh, do you mind not? I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Oh, come on. You dodgy sons of bitches. Just stay still when I fire the ice to Wombo Combo. There you go. Give me those. Now, where was I? I freaking knew it! I knew that there would be another one, and yet the combat with the space pirates fully distracted me. Oh, explosion. Another space pirate. Yep. And... Down we go. These count as a creature entry. Same family as the sap sack. Oh, the explosive things. Wait, that means they have to scan those? Those count as creatures too? Ugh. Oh well. Morph ball through the hole. Bomber. Oh wow. Morph ball bombs now launch me very high. Not quite that whole distance, but. Oh. The timing of bomb jumps is uh, different though, due to it. Okay, it seems to be just placing one near the peak of my jump will send me up. Not quite at the peak, though, because that's too late. Hmm. And yep, and yep, and uh, that was too low. And near the peak, too late, near... Near too early. And near the too late. Jeez. Come on. Up you I'm getting distracted overthinking, but I just had to turn left. It was right there. There we go. Got it. And now we can actually make progress here. And upsie daisy. And judging by the time, I'll make progress in the next episode. Bye.